Hi, it's Kate with Mount Vernon Consulting here with your monthly book recommendation. The recommendation for this month is Becoming Trader Joe by Joe Colomb, and it was published in 2021. Now, as you may have guessed, this book is about the creation of the store Trader Joe's. If you've ever been into a Trader Joe's, you know that it's a funky, fun vibe that's very meticulous with its marketing and has a very identifiable brand. The book is written by the namesake of Trader Joe's. Joe Colomb founded Trader Joe's in 1967, and so he shares throughout the book his wisdom and the thought process behind how he founded the company, how he stayed with it for the next 20 plus years. He actually sold the company in the late 70s to a German company, but he stayed on board as the leader of Trader Joe's until he retired in 1988. So the book really details from when Joe had the idea to when he created it and then stayed on board through the late 80s. The book is absolutely fascinating. I don't do a lot of work in the retail uh, behind the scenes or the operations side of things. And so it was really insightful to understand some of the basics that go into what the big grocery stores um, take into consideration and how they drive their businesses. So a couple of things that stood out about the book that I think made Trader Joe's and Joe Colomb a little different is they really focused a lot on making sure that the employees were valued members of the organization. So Joe talks about wanting to make sure that they had fair wages and making sure at one point that they were making the median income for wherever they were located. He also was a big supporter of employee stock ownership programs. He goes into a lot of detail in the book about why he wanted to create one and why it ended up not working out. Um, so it gives some really interesting uh, backstory to how that happened. Another thing about Joe is he was very creative and had a really good marketing spin. In fact, he states that part of the reason why Trader Joe's was really able to take off and blossom the way that it did is because he had a target audience of the overeducated and underpaid. He started it in California, recognized that there were a lot of really smart people that were coming out of universities. And that happened right about in the early 70s was when the Boeing flight was created that could take people over to Europe in a much quicker and more cost-effective way. So he recognized that his target audience was very well-educated people who were interested in world travel, interested in health. And so he combined all of those to really build that brand of Trader Joe's. Now, Joe is a very savvy businessman, and it's really interesting to read this story from his perspective. So one thing I will say about the book is that it's a little bit choppy. So it's sometimes difficult to tell where he is time-wise in some of his stories, and it kind of jumps all over the place. But I get a sense that that's kind of probably who he is as a person. <laughs> He also kind of comes across as your curmudgeonly old grandfather who's telling those stories from back in the day and saying, you know, back in my day, this is what we did. He does it in such a way that only really uh, a very old, wise, seasoned, successful person can do. And so it doesn't come across as arrogant or condescending, but he just kind of calls it like it is. So overall, I thought this book was really fascinating. It is a great book to read if you are in business school, if you are an entrepreneur, if you work on the operations side of anything in the retailing space, and also just to get some really good business basics presented to you in anecdotal ways. So again, the book recommendation for this month is Becoming Trader Joe by Joe Colombe, and I highly recommend that you check it out. Let me know your thoughts.